Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcoming you back to Lovecraft Country and Control. And I'm not entirely sure what type of episode this is yet, because while I was planning a lore and chill episode, I have came up here to double check and notice that we have another job with the janitor. This may end up being one of the side ones, may end up being a regular episode, you'll see by the title when this comes out. In any case, let's see what we've got here. What a mess, talk to the plants, got it. I will get back to what he says in just a moment, but let's double check. Uh, got way too much. There we go. Talk to the plants. Sent helps Atiba speaking with the plants in central research in the research section. Okay, so this will probably be a little side trip that we want to do. We get an additional I'm amount of... Listeners. You can tell them anything. Or you can sing to them. They like that. They do, actually. Plants in the real world will respond to the vibrations of music or sound, and even can tell when those vibrations are negative or positive. So yes, plants have a side of awareness. I don't think it's like full sentience in the way that we think about it, but it's collective between the entire set, which I call the green, uh, based off what Alan Moore and Swamp Thing. But the other thing is, is that remember, Alan Moore actually is a ceremonial magician. So sometimes I read his stuff and I realize he's just doing, you know, it for the check. And sometimes I look at his stuff and I realize that he's doing, he's putting in some real type magical stuff in his stuff. So I tend to think that he's concept of the green is based off his own observations of there being an actual collective sentience to plants. I mean, after all, we do talk about earth goddesses and fertility goddesses. Odds are this might be an extension of them. Any case, so let's pop over to research and see about, you know, talking to the plants. Central research it is. Actually, I think it might be easier to shortcut through the astral expedition. Exhi exhibition, blah, blah, blah. Expedition, so, and then run over this section of central research because central research elevator itself tends to be kind of convoluted. We end up on the second level rather than the first. And this is just going to get us to the main area, which is, I think, where IT wants us to go. Right, Central Research. There we go. Or maybe I should have taken that one over there. That's probably even easier. All right. Plants. Stuck to the hand. Have a really nice strong suit. Oh, give me a moment. At least they can't talk back. Oh, you're going to learn that's differently. Now... Like I said about Alan Moore and the green, the, the green itself can actually can transmit information. Oh my god, they restocked this when I was gone or something? Oh no, it's the plants. The green can talk back. It actually provides Swamp Thing all of his uh, information. I hope your day has been productive, little plant. <laughs> that really works, huh? Wow. Okay, I guess, well, Jesse's in tap. God has given Jesse the ability to talk to plants. She's given her the ability to tap into the green. Oh, it's lovely, actually. You and Swamp Thing could just hang out and chill. Uh, Poison Ivy, too, but she's really kind of the cousin that Swamp Thing doesn't like to talk about. In fact, you ever played Injustice 2? You can play, since both um, the... Swamp Thing and Poison Ivy are playable characters. If you put them against each other, they'll actually converse about their differences towards the green, in which the Ivy sees the green as a slave and... Okay, not this one then. Ivy sees the green as a slave and... Swamp Thing sees it as something divine to protect. I mean, did we miss some points here? Because I didn't see any more interaction points here. I guess we have to find the wilted ones. So, oh yeah, there's one of six or five, according to that bar right there. Okay, so it's a hunt thing, and I'm sure the hiss will show up because I don't think they're into farming. <laughs> Literally, oh god, when I get to the hiss in the, on the Allure and Chill episodes, I got a lot to say about that one. Because I got a pretty good idea of what it's supposed to be in a Gnostic sense of things, and yeah, it's kind of freaky. Uh, to do, do what are these plants? Are we talking to them? Get out. Is that just... Okay, so that's when I move, so it's more of a blur effect. But I was just thinking, are they, like, breathing? Are they talking? Are they talking among themselves? Eh, nothing else here on this side. And that's not it either. All right, so we got a whole bunch of things. Uh, oh, right, there we got another one. I hope those nasty hiss haven't been bothering you too much. Even the sarcasm seems to work. I mean, let's face it. The poor plants here are the ones who are suffering the most. They can't even fight My themselves. Were as as yours. 
Yeah, I did remember. There is actually a good version, uh, sort of, of Poison Ivy called Black Orchid. It's actually a one-shot by Neil Gaiman, who's one of Alan's friends. And in my estimation, is way too much about some metaphysical principles to be, you know, just guessing in the dark. But one of the things that Black Orchid was about, she actually meets Poison Ivy and Swamp Thing as well, is that she is an embodiment of the green as mother because she actually gives birth to, not birth, she actually has taken stewardship of a younger clone of herself as her as her, uh, as her her daughter, who eventually will, according to Neil Gaiman, be an individual who fights in the last magical apocalypse on the sides of the, well, good. Yeah, DC Universe can be kind of weird. Sorry, I just can't deal with this. All right, quiet again. All right, so basically let's hunt down some other plants and see how many points we can get for those. Still expecting to get ambushed at any point because this is a standard ambush point. There are standard points where you get ambushed by other entities, by the Hiss entities. This is one of them where you walk into this zone and there's another, and we just, there's another one on the second level. You have a family? Yeah, I got 14, uh, 14 I seedlings. Love. I miss him a lot. Ah, I wonder if that dialogue changes if we do this after the next main point where we actually do know what villain status is, you know, super villain. I mean, it's kind of talking about DC comics. It's going to be kind of cliche. You have an evil version of yourself as your arch nemesis. Bonus points if it's a family member. All right, boom. Okay, so two more at the very least. I wonder if we're up there. Can I get up there from here? I don't think so. First, let's double check the upper levels here to make sure there's nothing there. Then, if that fails, all right, we'll head over to that section there, which is going to... Oh, I was right. Oh, and no, I was also right. Whoops, should probably switch over to the shotgun at close range. Oh, come on. All right, I should be doing this, I know. Thanks for the grenade. Where are you? Catch. Ah, oh, well, thank you for giving me my, one of my bonus missions. I'll have to go to the nearest circle, collect that one though. Oh my god, maintenance hiss nodes. Ugh. All right, so yeah, looks like this is going to be me doing a, well, it's not even Somni. I'm not that tired. This, this is my usual recording time. This is kind of weird that the game has decided which type of mission I'm doing. Eat your soul, motherfucker. So yeah, it looks like we're running around a bit. We need to go to the power plant. There's an attack there. Excuse me. I'm busy. You, you, do, no one asked you to be here. Mm-hmm. Come on, boys. I got plenty of ammo for you all. Did you just grenade yourself? God, you people are stupid. Here. Oh, I missed. Oh, well. Didn't miss with that one. Or this one. Or this. I'll just avoid that one. Or this. God, you people. You know, I thought we could just get along. Nope, the uh, alien invasion is just has to keep going, doesn't it? You're just terrible cliches about this. Yeah, the guy with the rocket launcher, come closer to me. Oh, well, he, he has a bayonet attack, and we all know how lethal it is compared to explosives. Anyways, I gotta run over to the power plant. I'm gonna take the elevator because it's closer. I'll catch you over there. All right, we're at the upper level, which appears to be where the nodes are at this point. So I expect heavy resistance. Right, destroy his nodes. We're at the place we're supposed to be. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Don't run with the suicide bombers. Look, we got problems, right? And you can't navigate a small wall, so we're cool there. Yeah, you just, you take it for me, dude. You got cover? I'll take care of this, right? 
Oh well, he's dead. I'm not that shook up. And oh screw it. Down boy! Oh, we got a launcher down there. Alright, cool. Oops, switch over. Can't get me from here because I'm behind cover. But switch okay, we'll switch over to the snipe rounds. Oh, the cover did not work. Oh, that sucks. Come on down this narrow lane, guys. It's got a great tactic. It'll work wonderfully for you. Now, he does have the regenerative ability, which is annoying. Should really be using the telekinesis against him. But this is even faster, despite the charge up points. And the regeneration's annoying, but I don't know where the damn thing is. Hang on a second. Alright, so, yeah, you. Grenade back. Alright, so, of the two, it takes about the same damage, but the grenades are just fun. Ah, oh, for crying out loud, I grenaded myself. Ugh. Just getting annoying here. Because you've got... All right, so let's just keep hammering you, hopefully, fast enough to keep this damage from being enough to kill you. Using his own grenades for the coup de gras, hopefully. Finally. All right, let's eat some souls. There you are, you little son of a bitch. And one hiss thing, down. Just making sure I wasn't getting flanked there. Catch. Oh my god, that was a hell of an arc. Alright, so we destroyed one node. We gotta find the others, too. Ah, oh, there's another one over here, appears. Okay, that one's down. Stay out of my... Stay out of my place. This is my place. I'm the director. You were not on the authorized list. Which one is left? Is there a couple down there? Let's make sure I got this down. 13 minutes or so to pull this off. Where's the other ones? Let's see it here. Make a quick circuit. See if you can spot them. Guys, okay, so if I jump back down, it's going to be annoying to try to get back up. All right, so we are sweeping, and we do not see it here. All right, so how can we get to... Ah, uh, there we go. I see one down there. Can drop down here. Can I shoot it between? No. Now I can. Ooh, new section, by the way. Should have spotted this earlier. Yeah, you. Out of my way. It's close quarters. Switch to the shotgun. Another one down. Let's make a queen sweep. Yeah, most military maneuvers are actually kind of boring because you're just making a methodical sweep to make sure that your enemies don't linger. More have shown up. Great. All right, so the last part, is it up here? Yeah, it's up there. Fortunately, though, we've got an entire... Oh, well, screw you. Eh, it's on the other side. Eat your soul. Eat your souls. All right, so it's not actually here. Wow. Oh, it could have been a flash from the teleportation in. Should probably just run back, head down the level, see if we can locate it again. Going at 12 minutes to find the last node and deal with the SOBs that are dealing with us. Oh, there you are. Kneecap. Ah, I didn't finish him. He's like, shit, cover, cover. Okay, that one's below us. We can do this. We can do this. Take the stairs like a sane person. Get grenaded occasionally. Okay, so it's... See more glowy stuff. But where is it? Oh. oh. That's one more down. A clean sweep. Out of my way. Well, technically, he wasn't in my way. I just find these things annoying. Ah, uh, glowy downstairs. 
All right, so let's go take the stairs. Thought I fired you. Whoops, <laughs> the one right there. Did I miss this one somehow? Well, that's just it. That's just carelessness. All right, we should probably leave. Oh, the hell? Catch, because I know you're there. You're just invisible and you don't have enough room to maneuver. That's the point about invisibility. It's really great against someone who hasn't seen it before. After that point, you're just, you're just annoying them. All right, so I'm gonna make a quick sweep around this section since it's relatively new. Wait, wait. He told me I got all the nodes. If there's one still down there? All right, whatever, clean it out. Because I still hear that goddamn thing. It's a malfunction, but in any case. At least then. Again, clean sweep. Didn't even notice this before. It's like. Do they regenerate? Seriously. I guess we have to run back up and do that one again. It's not quick enough. Even though we've actually won the mission, I guess we're bugged. Well, this will keep going for a little bit, and then... We done? Oh god, the music's still going. Alright, I guess we're glitched. But in any case, I'm just going to take this opportunity to finish the sweep of the upper levels of the power plant. You know, when we can fly, because I know we can fly, it's in all goddamn trailers. When we can fly, we're going to... Oh no, you're just tempting me. Take a quick sweep, I don't think there's a lower level than this one. Absolutely correct, but there's some interesting architecture. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I don't know where that goes. It probably doesn't go anywhere, but let's do it. I'm stupidly curious. That's probably a good thing I jumped over that gap. Probably you get it automatically, but there's no reason to be silly about it. All right, so probably an area we've already access to, but if we don't, I was like new things, and we didn't. Oh god, they lo I love a game that it rewards you for exploration. Threshold remnant. What do you got here? Can't get through there though. Another section entirely. Probably one of the sections we've already been to. This is just a ledge threshold. I'm sorry, ledge remnant with a threshold remnant. This is a ledge with a threshold remnant. Blah 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 blah. All right. So in the meantime, there is actually a lower level over there. So can we actually get to it? Yeah, well, you know, when you can know you can come back from being dead, it just really doesn't phase you that much anymore. All right, cool. And not so cool. Oops. Bye. I know it's temporary. I know it's pointless. I know the hiss will just regenerate them because these are flesh drones and the actual soul, if you want to call it, that's been absorbed by the hive mind. But, you know, pinatas. Okay, this is probably the absolute lowest level. I've been wrong before about this, so we're kind of just, you know, getting sure about it. I mean, I could definitely jump down here and look around. Yeah, looks like we don't have much going on here, but the doable drop. And we're back to the main level again. Well, that was fun. Uh, we need to go back to the, uh, we need to go back to the um, research level to finish the plant talking mission, though. Okay, so... Oh, for crying out loud. I just want to do the plants. Well, this is a thing. You dude, catch. This is when I'm upset. I just start throwing everything, throwing things. All right, all right, fine. I'll treat you seriously. A little hard to keep track of me, isn't it? Oh god, flash step is fun. Good. It's about the closest we're gonna get to teleporting in this game outside the circles. Come on, come on, come on, little guy. Oh, gonna make you mine. Now, there you go. That's the last one, which basically means that what's gonna happen to the poor guy is that his brain will melt when I'm done with him. You will no longer serve my purposes, snap neck. All right, let's get to the circle and back to the research station.
Okay, so we're back in research. I uh, just want to double check back here, by the way. There's plants more than the central section, so... Uh, it's just, this gives me the impression they were testing with the Hiss before the expedition, before things went wrong, which makes me think it's probably their fault. Anyways. I know, not the usual walk to work. Probably should be doing a more direct route, but sometimes I just like doing that. Alright, so back to central. Let's see if we can find those plants. Let's see where we got. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick check over. And more personal mods. Mission. Talk to the plants. Alright, so a couple more at the very least. Making sure we're not missing anything. Done a pretty good sweep, although did I finish the sweep up there? I think we did. Alright, so we'll go down here. And we'll make a quick run. I think we've already done that part, but you never know where these plants could be hiding. Like right here. Oh. Hey, that was the name of the first episode, so title drop. Alright. So, yeah, the plants do keep secrets well, however. Unless, of course, you're a god of the green, like, um, thump thing, but I don't think he actually cares that much about interpersonal problems. That's the microwave. But there's... Oh! 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 This is definitely going to be a, um, A episode. Because we have completely missed a piece of lore. Block rock analysis. All right, let's get this knocked out. Correspondence, unread, and black rock. Hi, Carla. Does it strike you as odd that Darling is just having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. But don't get me wrong, beats a day in the lab. Plus, it's great to work with you. A little bit of commentary on those uh, on those background guys. Yeah, apparently, he's too much of a ham. He requires an audience. Oh, yeah, I finished the comprehensive analysis of two black rock samples you sent. The prism, whatever it is you call it. I filed them in the usual place under C for Carla. A handy mnemonic device, right? Ha ha. Anyways, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe chat over some drinks or dinner. I can't remember last time a good steak. Maybe we can go to after work tomorrow. I'm free. All the rest, Hubert. Uh, that's always the problem. If they're the same rank in the office, which appears to be, or then I guess it's okay. But, you know... If she's not India, dude, she's not into you. No amount of attempting to uh, hint like that. I mean, if she takes down, if you invited, and that's a perfectly good invitation, and she says no, and you drop it at that, that's fine. I mean, that's just, you know, that's just a human. Human mating rituals. <laughs> okay, so still looking for that damned last plant. All right, so, or I think it's the last plant. Like I said, there's some subsections that have it as well, so I'm going to be testing uh, back here. Are we hiding one? I mean, if it gets really bad, I will resort to a guide in order to try to find the last one, but I'm going to give it a couple of minutes before I get a little antsy about that. Okay, we're kind of coming across ourselves. We don't have one hiding in a shelter, do we? No, I didn't think so. I'm not sure you'd keep the plants in a shelter. And there's not one in the sound lab, is there? Didn't think so. But you never know. Notice you hear in the background there? Yeah. Vibration is a form of what he's talking about. The the um, resonance as it comes through. Vibration is a, is a version of that, but it's the fact that people forget that light and sound are vibrations as well. So that might be AT actually working as a countermeasure against the hiss. Being able to deal with, you know, it's a lot more entertaining than that crap that we're listening to from the hiss, which is essentially the hiss trying to propagate itself on a auditory level. So, yeah, that is actually an attempt to infiltrate people's minds through the jibber-jabbering, which is one of the reasons why I pop you guys like piñatas. Happy fun piñata to you. And this is going to be kind of a thing. All right, so I'm starting to repeat myself, so it will. I will zip back to the point where I could find the next one. Hang on. Okay, so I did find it over here by Dr. Dolling's office. I didn't have to actually use a guide. Your chlorophyll really brings out the green in your leaves. That's all of them. But I kind of wish there were more. Ooh, two ability points. All right, there is definitely going to be a green, uh, uh, 
when she becomes full director, it's definitely going to be a sort of greening protocol going across this way. Kind of a, we're going to add more of these. Jesus, usually the bodies don't, ugh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, usually, uh, you know, give it a bit of a cheerful resonance about the place. I mean, if we can invoke more of the green, I can see us actually having a little more dimensional stability. Now, the primary reason why the may not be an issue is that the board may not like having an alternative, uh, you know, resonance to what they're attempting to accomplish. But as I pointed out, the the watcher slash board don't really care. Um, they just want this place secured because it is the source of all going to the executive center so I can cash in the ability points. It's the source of all that's protecting them from, well, the wrath of the uh, <clears throat> other aeons that they've gone rogue from. Again, if you haven't been watching my um, lore and chill episodes, you're probably kind of lost. No, I don't think they can use the elevator for some reason. I don't want to think about cats are doing all that. All right, so a quick thing, abilities. Now, you may notice, by the way, I have gone a couple. I did one increase over here with health because, you know, more health, the better. But that gave us an additional personal mod slot, which I'm currently using for shield strength, which, as you may have noticed, was kind of an improvement. Okay, so we have two points. We can either, we can't do much with it, though. Oh, we can increase our shield strength. Uh, or we can launch large enemies when their health is low. Now, I'm actually kind of thinking about that one. Or we can increase our seize duration. That's not really important. Most of the people I capture are kind of killed quickly. So the only thing we could do with this, since we aren't going to bank it and try to go for something bigger, is to grab large enemies when their health is low. And I'm kind of for that. But doing 75% more damage? Yeah, I'm going to wait for one more point in that regard. And the board countermeasures? Yeah, we haven't gotten any of these going. Oh, I should have been killing people with spin. What have I been thinking? Anyways, so that's done. I'm thinking we need to go back to ventilation and see if there's another mission. Hang on. Okay, so IT didn't have an additional mission for us, which is unfortunate, but I did want to go over some of the astral constructs here. Now, we have um, charge, which is essentially three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught, basically our rocket launcher. We can upgrade spin to make it more effective, we can upgrade that, but you notice that we are really low on the and materials required because they essentially are ones that are going to be done in the next missions as we get more and more sorry more and more difficult enemies they'll be giving us more and more of those sort of things now normally i would go down to um oops hang on normally i'd go down to uh the containment sector to go start farming but i gotta say this we should probably go check out the uh Black Rock a little better. I don't think we had an opportunity to, let's see, upper level, where is it? I don't think we had an opportunity to uh, really dive into that. Oh, that was quick. Don't even have to make a fade in, fade out. All right. So yeah, we had a happy fun over here a few minutes ago. Let's check out the Black Rock section. We were not feeling pressed for a mission. But yeah, it was good to get a clean sweep of the upper levels of the power plant. And I'm sure there's stuff up there, which we're gonna have to get to eventually when I fly or get really better at climbing. Yeah, when I get flying, I'm gonna be like all over this goddamn place. I'll have to increase my energy at that point. I'm using a third mod for shield strength right now, like I said, so, but when I get to flight, since flight's gonna essentially tail off of our energy, I'll probably start boosting energy both using a mod and using, of course, ooh, right, I gotta, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I just remembered one of the door five, the class five doors I desperately want to do right now. I so desperately want to do. We need to get back to that circle. Whoops. Real fast. Because I want my first outfit, damn it. But we have level five over here in this room. So let's go see what we find new in here. It might just be supplies. It might be just lore. It might actually be a bunch of stuff, actually. Cool. Let's check it all out. All right. It's a stapler. Seriously. Oh, God. Tease me. Tease me. So, just the, the lights? Is this a puzzle? It is. There's the controls for it over here. Now, that's what I'm talking about. All right. So, let's see. Uh, huh. So... What the hell? 
We're probably not going to figure this one out. So we want to have lights on, a clover, and a fish. Cool. Cool. Let's get the lore first. Lucky I didn't manifest. Let's see what we got. Do -do -do. Lucky item manifest. Bonds, koi fish, China. Attracts abundance and wealth. Feng Shui. Horseshoe Island. Wards off evil. Orientation important. Heals up. Allows luck to be kept. Heals down. Luck to be luck flows outward. I showed that one before. Magnets of Japan. Beckoning cats using shop. Paw help to beckon customers. Creating luck for a business owner. Four leaf clover. Ireland. Shamrock. Rare planet variation. Connection to druid healing rituals. Elephant China protection. Good luck wisdom feng shui. Luck, very light bulbs various. Documented in gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are on. Effects of all these to be tested. Consider investigating the proximity of horseshoe. Also positioning of feng shui objects. Probably luck may affect reason. Do more efficient ritual use lucky actions to perform a void. OCD behavior. Yeah, it's a form of ritual magic. An attempt to control um, probability by manipulating certain things okay so all the lights in the room must be on okay we can do that that's what we were doing here wait no turn it on we'll probably have to uh, refer back to that multiple times so both of those are oh, let's get this one on okay so oh gods that's all the lights right okay so we're also supposed to have four leaf clover I'm looking over a four-leaf clover. Is that actually a song? Is it just something in my head? Lucky number seven. All right. Guessing that isn't supposed to be what happened. Jesus Christ, what did I do? Is that failure mode? Horseshoe down, question mark. Lucky bass. Where's the damn fish? Oh, right. Didn't have one light on. Right. This is all kind of interesting. Just a little weird. Okay, so we have all of those. We want the horseshoe down. No. Lights on. Four leaf clover. And the fish. Less than two feet. What that means, I don't know. All right, so we should jump back here. Where's the damn fish? Uh huh. They gave a question mark. So did you? That's with the cat. All right, so we want this to stay up. I'm pretty sure. Again, if it takes me too long to do this, this is not actually what I was going to be doing for my outfit, but, you know, speaking of OCD, it just kind of got a hold of me here. All right, so what we want is we want, let's see, we want the lucky, and we want, yeah, the elephant is not a huge thing. We want basically the four-leaf clover and the fish. There's a four-leaf clover around here somewhere. That's the balls. This is for the clover. Excellent. We'll take that. And we want the fish. There's a fish around here somewhere. Oh my god. Are you serious? Uh, let me get the... F Where's the fish? Alright, so give me a second. I will go take care of that and come back to here. Yeesh. Busy day. Okay, so I discovered something after picking up the clover. You can put it here. So that obviously we must, the thing is we must be trying to get all the good luck items into this room or in active state. For example, we've got um, the horseshoe on up where it should be. We've got, we've got to activate the cat because, you know, the good luck about the shop owner. Got Ganesh over there already. But I'm looking for the damn fish. I guess it's over here. And we'd have an interaction. So let's fun. Let's have fun. I don't know if we're supposed to be doing this, but it's kind of hilarious. So we want to get this as close as possible to the. Remember, I can just drop the object to this, right? Okay, cool. F to drop, which is this neat skill I learned. So we've got the fish, the horseshoe. We've got that. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do about Ganesh because I don't think we have an interaction here. Supposed to put him into? Is that it? 
Hindu deity of good luck uh, and other things, of course. All right, so can we pick him up? Doesn't look like it. All right, just aim directly at him. Should probably not do that. Wrecking the place. All right, so let's see if this is gonna work. This is kind of nuts, but hey, let's give it a try. Yeah, what's up? Gonna take that as a no, guys. Okay, so let's go see if we missed anything. Okay. Maybe we have to get these things started. Yeah, that's probably it. It's a golden ball right there, and... Let's see. Where's the other one? There's another one around here somewhere. Let's look for the dots. Look for the oh, it's over by Ganesh. Which I can't do anything with, so I gotta assume it's not important. Alright, so let's try this again. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm a director. I get somebody else to clean this stuff up. Alright, so we get the Newton ones going, and let's get this. Let's see, first of all, let's make sure. Okay, it's on seven, which is cool, cool. And let's hit this baby. And get away from the explosion. I guess we're supposed to... Oh dear gods. Still not working. I've been playing around with different combinations and let's see if this one works. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look. Away! We did it, somehow. I, I, the combination was I turned off the Newton cradles, candles, why do I call them candles, cradles, in order to be able to change the probability. I was about to turn, about to stop the, uh, the cat next, but yeah, I've been here for a little bit. Anyways, yeah, my obsessiveness has apparently paid off, so let's see, oh, for God's sakes, people, I'm busy! Gods. Walk into the laser! Make it easy for me. Oh, gods. Tossing around grenades. It's always, that's never fun for anyone involved. So I was saying, for anyone involved. For anyone involved. You blew yourself up, dude. This is really bad at tactics. Okay, so that happened. I should really be switching over to spin to get that requirement. But yeah, let's see what we got. Ooh, we finally got four ability points, which means that we're probably going to be upgrading something. Question is, yeah, we're going to be doing launch damage because as you can see, launch is becoming extraordinarily effective. There we go. And we could theoretically shield... Ooh, I want that. Propels debris in nearby enemies. We're going to get that as well. Oh, three, not one. I said one for a second, but I'm not really sure if I want to increase C's duration. C's speed. Now, that's something I'd really encourage. But we have outfits, but we can only change outfits over at Central Executive. So let's take a look at it. So this is the outfit we won from the roulette wheel. It's uh, kind of interesting. Got to admit it. It's... um. Gun? I'm not sure gold is her color. Does that go well with red hair? Um, yeah. And frankly, if you're gonna go gold, go bling, as far as I'm concerned. On the other hand, it does give us something different to look at, and I'll probably run it in the next episode, either going to be a standard episode or lore and chill, depending how it goes. As I stated before, I wanted to head over to Blackrock for the next lore and chill, so that we'll be dealing with the nature of the Demiurge and its nature as a barrier between our damaged reality and whatever the heck real reality looks like out there. And I think probably the best place to do that is from the Blackwell Quarry, as it is kind of like on the shores of what other realities are like. At least one of the ones that we can control, or reasonably control being the point, of course. Anyway, so 
If you like this, like, share, subscribe. If you like it, down below are links to the Gummer payment platform. You can become a supporter with different levels of uh, benefits, including additional material for you and additional material unlocked for the series. And we currently have three bonus episodes unlocked as we have three stre- the first three stretch goals of supporters do. If we get a fourth one, we'll be starting an entire new series on Mondays, but we have to get there first. In any case, if you are a subscriber, you, of course, can be on the vote for the next series. Now, considering how popular As With Love, The End of God was, which was released on Monday, um, of the same week at this one's drop, I believe, it's probably going to end up in the vote alongside uh, Other Side and the next three, two or three, maybe four. I think we did six last time that are coming up. In any case, I will see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the dark lords of content and data.